Welcome to the Disney Magic Kingdoms live stream. My name is Natalie, I'm your game community manager, and today we have grave news. Maleficent is back and she is ready to spread her curse throughout the park in the latest Tower Challenge! I saw a lot of you Kingdomers very excited to see this event happening again, with a lot of you speculating which character is going to be joining us, who's going to be helping uh, out and lending a hand. So without further ado, let's take a sneak peek into who's going to be joining the Kingdom in our latest Tower Challenge. <laughs> And there you have it! And I can see that my hair is blending in with the wall a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. I'll try to fix it as best as I can. Um, the joys of working from home. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> um, so as you can see, yes, who are we welcoming to the kingdom? It is Owl from Winnie the Pooh. Sometimes the smallest things really do take up the most room in your heart. So we encourage you all to join us for the time-limited Tower Challenge starting on July 16th. That's a Tuesday. And welcome the... Sorry, that's a Thursday, not a Tuesday. I'm getting mixed up with the trivia now. And welcome the wisest owl of them all with the help of Winnie the Pooh and friends. And just remember, nobody can be uncheered with a balloon. Be sure to download our update on Tuesday, there we go, July 14th, uh, and as a small reminder, please note that not everyone will necessarily get the update at the exact same time, so, uh, you know, just check in throughout the day to make sure that it's up there in your app store and see when you can download at the earliest convenience, and everyone will be able to take part in the Tower Challenge at the exact same time, even if there is a slight delay, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people very excited to have Owl in their kingdoms. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of other people excited to just have a tower challenge and get a chance to get some of the old content as well. So this is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> and welcome to some of the anniversary followers we've also got. Um, so, all right, before we dive into the brand new content, just a small reminder to take part in our live stream sweepstakes for a chance to win five attraction enchantment chests if you're joining us over on Facebook. Uh, be sure to let us know in the comments what you'd also like to see in a future sweepstakes as well, so I'm uh, very interested and excited. Um, just so you know, we are randomly selecting who are we welcoming to the kingdom? It is Owl from Winnie the Pooh. Sometimes the smallest things really do take up the most room in your heart. So we encourage you all to join us for the time-limited Tower Challenge starting on July 16th. That's a Tuesday. And welcome the... Sorry, that's a Thursday, not a Tuesday. I'm getting mixed up with the trivia now. And welcome the wisest owl of them all with the help of Winnie the Pooh and friends. And just remember, nobody can be uncheered with a balloon. Be sure to download our update on Tuesday, there we go, July 14th, uh, and as a small reminder, please note that not everyone will necessarily get the update at the exact same time, so, uh, you know, just check in throughout the day to make sure that it's up there in your app store and see when you can download at the earliest convenience, and everyone will be uh, able to take part in the Tower Challenge at the exact same time, even if there is a slight delay, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people very excited to have Owl in their kingdoms. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of other people excited to just have a tower challenge and get a chance to get some of the old content as well. So this is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> and welcome to some of the anniversary followers we've also got. Um, so, all right, before we dive into the brand new content, just a small reminder to take part in our live stream sweepstakes for a chance to win five attraction enchantment chests if you're joining us over on Facebook. Uh, be sure to let us know in the comments what you'd also like to see in a future sweepstakes as well, so I'm uh, very interested and excited. Um, 
just so you know, we are randomly selecting winners this time, so even if you got the answers incorrectly, it's okay. Uh, we do have, uh, this trivia was very, very difficult, and I remember testing out with people in the office, and uh, some people got it right, some people got it wrong. If you got it right, pat on the back to you. Uh, Amanda Williams is asking if she can get a shout out for her daughter, Athena. Athena, welcome. Uh, we're so happy to have you playing Disney Magic Kingdoms. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people saying this is my first tower challenge. So Rita, get excited, get ramped up. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I see Carissa is an anniversary follower. Um, the four means four years. Yes, you've been following us for four years. You're one of the kingdomers that's been around for a very long time. So, yeah, I'm seeing a lot more comments about general excitement over the event. Awesome. All right. Are you guys ready to go into the game? Because I definitely am. All right. Let's pop in and show you what we've got. All right. So here we can see a couple of things happening. We have some brand new concession stands, which I'll zoom into right now, along with some previous content, mainly the Winnie the Pooh attractions, just to fill up the land a little bit more. Um, I see Savannah Page asking for a shout out for her daughter, Levy. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Happy birthday to you from all of us at the DMK family. Um, all right, so over here we have the brand new concessions. We have the Mickey Celebration Donut Stand, which looks so delicious, and I'm getting pretty hungry just looking at it. <laughs> this will be available as part of the Milestone Rewards in Chapter 1 of the Tower Challenge. If you aren't sure what that means, stick around because we will be doing a mini walkthrough slash tutorial for the Tower Challenge right after this. We next up, we also have the Maleficent Waffle Cone Stand, which is also part of the Milestone Rewards for Chapter 2. And I know that we all scream for ice cream, but i definitely scream if I would see this ice cream in person. It looks delicious. Um, over here, we also have the Maleficent Horns concession, which is only available as part of the leaderboard rewards during the Tower Challenge. Um, so be sure to stick around and get that if you haven't already. And I'm just going to collect that magic because why not? And over here, the final concession that is brand new is the Tigger Hat Stand. He will. This specific stand will be available as part of the Milestone Rewards for Chapter 3. Um, and I know that Tigger is the only one, but I definitely want a million and one of these stands in my park. <laughs> um, behind it, we also have the some of the previous Winnie the Pooh stands, namely the... Pooh hat stand and the Eeyore hat stand. I'm definitely channeling my inner ear today, so thanks for noticing me, guys. <laughs> um, seeing a lot of people are loving the look of these new concessions, so I'll just zoom out so you can see the three of them right here again. I see a lot of people saying that uh, they're very excited about this. Some people asking about land. Uh, land we will address right after the Tower Challenge tutorial, so stick around for that. Um, and uh, just so you know, this is a demo build, um, so don't be alarmed by the very large numbers uh, in terms of gems and magic. Um, but yes, if you've never done a Tower Challenge before, stick around. We are going through a walkthrough very, very shortly. All right, so aside from this, we also have the brand new character, which is Owl. So why don't we go ahead and welcome him to the kingdom? I'm very, very excited to see uh, his welcome animation. It's very, very cute. Um, and I always love the stained glass for Winnie the Pooh. It just warms my heart. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, welcome him in. And there he is, and he flies over. Oh my gosh, they did such a great job with him. He looks fantastic. Um, I think that entrance was just a hoot. Ha ha. <laughs> so, um, let's just get this quest out of the way. We can see a little bit of his dialogue, but then the Tuesday edition of the Ornithological Times word jumble often is perplexing. That's right. <laughs> All right. So he's got some really fun dialogue. I really encourage you guys to read it and go through it. It's very, very funny. Um, I see a couple more people saying that they had the Maleficent Waffle Cone Stand in Walt Disney World, and it was delicious. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but I'm very eager to try it soon. Um, I see Katie asking for a shout-out for her parents, Gary and Kathy. Um, stay safe, stay home, and I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Uh, Tanya Purveen is saying that her daughter, Carissa, turned nine a couple of days 
days ago and that you play this as a family. Well, here's a shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for playing our game and enjoying it. Um, and I see a lot more people saying that it's also very exciting to have another tower challenge. That's right. So, all right. Um, a lot of people asking, what is a tower challenge or for a refresher about tower challenges? So let's dive right in. What is the tower challenge? The evil Maleficent has erected a cursed tower within the park, as you can see right over here. Um, and it's spreading the curse throughout the kingdom as she tries to turn the park into a place of nightmares. The characters within the park need to band together to help clear this new curse and put a stop to Maleficent's plans once and for all. The Tower Challenge is a 15-day long event split into three chapters. Each chapter is five days long and they happen all in the course of you know, those 15 days. During this event, you'll earn event points, which reset with every chapter and are used toward milestone and leaderboard rewards, and Maleficent coins, which only reset at the end of the Tower Challenge and can be used to redeem characters, attractions, and tokens in the event shop. During the Tower Challenge, you'll also find cursed attractions, which will randomly pop up throughout your kingdom. While they're cursed, you can't actually get magic for them, uh, from them, not even with Merlin's Gathering spell. So let me move on over to the cursed attraction in my kingdom. And there it is. You'll see this purple glow around it with a Maleficent uh, bubble at the top. In order to take the curse away, you will need to tap it a couple of times and you'll get some Maleficent coins while you're doing that as well. Um, so that's how that works. That's an additional uh, part of the tower challenge. Now, this event offers something new for all of our players. New players can get previously released content through the tower shop, such as time-limited characters or attractions that they previously didn't have. More established and experienced players can aim to get the milestone rewards, such as the concessions uh, that we showed off earlier, um, or competing in the leaderboard against other players for prizes like the Maleficent Horn Stand or some refresh tokens. And veteran players that have been playing since the dawn of Kingdom Time uh, with complete or nearly complete collections can aim to get the new character that's being offered through the event. So that means that everybody can work to get toward getting something new. Everyone's going to have their own different goals for this event. And uh, this heavily depends on how long you've been playing the game and how much content you've already unlocked. So don't be discouraged if you can't finish the event. If um, everyone's going to have their own different goals and finishing the event will mean something different to everyone. All right, let's head into the tower challenge menu by tapping the button at the bottom of the screen. So, all right, so here on the, in the menu, you will find a progress, challenge, leaderboard, event shop, and frequently asked questions tab. Um, so as this is just loading up, we will see that working from home has its challenges. <laughs> um, happy birthday to Brandon, by the way, and happy birthday to Leslie's husband because his birthday was in June, I believe. Um, happy birthday to those two players. And all right, we are in the Tower Challenge menu. Um, as I mentioned, you can see that there is the Progress Challenge Leaderboard Event Shop and Frequently Asked Questions tabs. The main tab that you need to be focused on is the challenge tab, where you'll be sending out characters to actually challenge the tower. Uh, the closer your characters are to level 10, the more event points and Maleficent coins you're actually going to get every time that you send them out to the tower. Um, so let me just show you the full screen so that you get the full picture here. So over here, um, every single slot will have a uh, set number of characters or set type of characters that you'll be able to uh, send uh, forward on this tower challenge. On this demo build here, you can see that we have Beast, Chip, LeFou, Merryweather. So of course, since we want to go with our highest leveled character, in this case, they're all level three almost, but um, that works just fine. We can send Beast and set him in this slot. So you can see the points and the coins are going to give you a range. You might get the higher end of the range or the lower end of the range. It will depend. So next up, we can go on to the next one. So you have Bo Peep, Belle, Sarge, and a few other ones here, um, which I will go into detail about later. Next up, we have 
here we go. We have Sully at level five. Something interesting to note is that if your character is busy or is at home, you can actually send them back through this menu. So you can see if they're busy or if that's something that you need to uh, deal with, you can deal with that through here. So we'll select Sully here. And over here, we will also select Wally, who's a level 10. So that will give us a very, very good bo boost. Next up over here, you can see that we have a featured character. Now the featured character changes with every single chapter, but will not get tired. So you can, you can actually send them out every single time you send out your characters without having to worry about refresh tokens. So you can see here that we have a full team bonus. So that's something brand new that I'll talk about in a second. Um, and we can start the challenge. Boop, boop, boop. All right, there you go. They're challenging the tower right now. You can skip with gems if you'd like, which is what I'm going to do here for this demo build. And you can see now that you can collect the reward. Tap right here. Hooray, we got a whole bunch of Maleficent coins. We also have points that don't pop up here, but you will be able to see them in a second. So we got some milestone rewards as well. So we're going to be able to accept those and claim it. Um, I'm seeing a few more people asking for some shout outs. Um, Anita's asking for a shout out for her cousin, Robin. Um, so his wife just gave birth to their son, Nathan. Congratulations on the baby. That's so, so sweet. I hope that they're happy and healthy. Um, and I see a few more people asking, are these the characters that are going to be used? Yes, these are the characters that are going to be used. Um, I will go into detail about who else will be helping very, very shortly. Um, so let me just clear these milestone rewards out of the way. Um, I see a few people here mentioning that they're asking for shout outs for uh, some more birthdays. I see Julia asking for a shout out for Shalom and Victoria. Happy birthday to those. Um, and uh, I see there's a shout out for somebody's Dash Hun Brixton. He's two today. Happy birthday. We always love our office dogs as well. So, all right, let's go back into the tower challenge menu so that we can take a look at what's going on and what has changed. Um, and also, congratulations to Tiff for giving birth to your baby girl, Maisie Rose. What a beautiful name. I hope that the baby's happy and healthy. And uh, thank you so much for the comments on the bow. I really am trying to channel my inner Eeyore here. <laughs> All right. And here we are. We are in the Tower Challenge menu. Um, you can see that if we go back to choose characters again, uh, you'll see that Beast is down here. And Beast is down here because he's tired. So anytime that you send a uh, character out to challenge the tower, they get tired and you will need to use a refresh token in order to use them again. Um, something else to note that's really important is that we don't have a featured collection this time. So veteran players or players that have had um, tower challenges or gone through tower challenges in the past will remember that there used to be a featured collection here and we don't have it anymore. So we do have some limited time collections that will be helping, but there is no more featured collections. So I'm sure some of you will be very excited to hear about that. Um, all right, so aside from that, uh, you can also refresh all of your characters at the same time once per day using the button in the menu. So if you've gone through and sent through all the available characters that you can send um, once per day, you will be able to hit this refresh everyone now button. It's a free daily refresh. It'll tell you how many tired characters you actually have and you will be able to refresh them. And again, it will show that you have this amount of time until the next refresh is available. So uh, next up, we have the progress tab where you will be able to see all the points that you've collected. So if you're wondering where, you, where to look at your points, this is where you see how many points you have. Um, so once you hit a certain amount of points, you will be able to get the certain milestones, as mentioned before. Uh, your event points reset with every chapter, unlike Maleficent coins. So your Maleficent coins will carry over every chapter, but your event points will not. So be sure to rack them up uh, and make sure that you uh, try to get those milestone rewards as best as you can. Next up, we have the leaderboard reward, uh, or rather the leaderboard board, <laughs> where you'll be able to see that we have a number of exciting rewards such as Maleficent coins, refresh tokens, and that Maleficent horn stand, as I mentioned previously. Um, so there's some great rewards there, and those points that we talked about that are contributing toward your milestone rewards are also going to be used for the leaderboards. 
Um, finally, we have the event shop tab where you can cash in those Maleficent coins for characters, attractions, and character tokens. So you'll be able to redeem any of these rewards throughout the event. So if you are in chapter three, for instance, you, which will be all the way over here and you'll see in a second, Boop, 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 scrolling on over, you'll see that chapter three unlocks in six days, but if in six days you've, you know, you've uh, gone through all of this and you decide that you want to unlock Aladdin because you don't have Aladdin as a character, you will be able to go back and still get him with your Maleficent coins. Um, I have uh, some more comments here about some love for my hair. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I have, I think, Lois or Lewis asking me if I'm a real Gameloft employee. And yes, I am. I am the game community manager for Disney Magic Kingdoms. Don't you worry. Although I'm sure I would still be doing this if I wasn't a Gameloft employee. This game is incredible. <laughs> Um, so I see a lot of love for uh, Owl uh, and everything that's going on here. You also have ads that you can watch in the event shop to get happiness, refresh tokens, or Maleficent coins, um, which is very, very exciting. And finally, we also have the frequently asked questions tab, which has a customer care button as well if you have any problems with your game. Um, but if you do ever forget or want a refresher on how the tower challenge works, you can go back to the challenge tab and hit this little question mark here and it will take you through a short tutorial with regards to how the tower challenge works and what each of the tabs does. Now, the Tower Challenge is an online event, so you will need to be online if you want to check if your daily refresh is available, to watch ads in the event shop, post your point totals to leaderboards, start a new chapter, and more. So when you start up the game, be sure to go online for at least a brief amount of time to be able to continue if you want to play offline for a little bit, though it is best if you're online as often as possible just to make sure that you get the smoothest and best experience that you can get. So finally, with update 42, we also have some very exciting brand new features and changes to our tower challenges, which some of you may have already spotted. Um, so first up, we have the full team bonus. So let me just select a couple of characters again, just to make sure that we can get um, uh, the full team bonus and show you what that looks like. So when you send all five characters, and you don't need to send all five, you can send just three if those are the only characters you have available. But if you have all five, you'll see that this whole full team bonus indicator lights up and you'll get a bonus amount of points and a bonus amount of coins when you send out a team of five people. Next up, we also have in the event shop, multiple token purchases. So for those of you that have been playing for a while now, you'll know that before you had to purchase tokens one by one. Now what you can do is you can actually select how many tokens you want to purchase from the shop. So I have 776 Maleficent coins here, so I can choose to add one more or go the max and get as many as I can so I can actually purchase them and have them there. So it'll also ask you for confirmation. Is this how many you want to purchase? I'll say yes, and there you go. I've got three of Owl's tokens. So next up, uh, the last thing that we have that I'm sure will be a very, very huge help to people is this plus button by the refresh tokens. So um, I know some of you had asked before, how do I get refresh tokens? Like, where do I get them? So you can get them through watching ads, the leaderboard, sometimes the daily calendar rewards if you're lucky, but you can also send characters on activities in order to get refresh tokens or get a chance at getting refresh tokens. So you'll be able to see the full list of activities here, which is very, very helpful. So, with that, you are actually now all prepared to challenge the tower and help put a stop to Maleficent's plans. So, aside from this, we also have a few uh, new changes. We have Aladdin and Winnie the Pooh parade floats being taken out of legendary chests and being put into the parade tent permanently for now. Um, we also have Aladdin attractions and activities dropping gold trophies for our striking gold events. And the level up screen has actually received a little bit of a revamp for a better user experience. So be on the lookout for that if you level up anytime soon and let us know what you think. Um, 
So next up, we also have some requests for uh, multiple purchases in Merlin's shop. We'll definitely pass on all of this feedback to the team. I know everyone's always reading the comments and very excited to see what you all have to say. Um, I, I'm very excited to see that you're all very excited for the new tower features, especially buying the multiple tokens. I know that for me is very, very um, nice to have, that's for sure. Um, and I see that there are some people asking for if there are going to be legendary chests. Yes, there will be legendary chests available um, through the chest shop during the tower challenge. So you'll be uh, you'll have a chance to get these different characters throughout the event. Um, so all right. So with. Without further ado, let's go into some more viewer questions. I also see that Ruth Polo had a birthday last week, so we're wishing you the happiest of belated birthdays from the Disney Magic Kingdom's family. Uh, wishing you lots of love and support and lots of hugs. Um, I'm also seeing Rita say that this game is the best and that you love playing it. That's very, very exciting. Disney Girl, welcome to the stream. Um, we definitely are looking into having a button so that characters that are maxed out, we can actually see the welcome animations again. I know that's being considered by the team, that's for sure. Um, we also have uh, some more requests here, so please feel free to leave some other comments and suggestions in the comments, and I and the team will look through it and we'll uh, be able to take uh, whatever we can into consideration for future updates. Now, I see some more players asking about which characters are helping out in the tower challenge this time and I can tell you right now uh, the different chapters and who the featured character is and what some of the collections will be. So for chapter one the featured character is Mickey um, so as you know featured characters don't get tired and we'll have characters from Beauty and the Beast, Toy Story, Monsters Inc, Cinderella and the Wally collections helping out. Uh, so as you saw before those are the characters that are helping for chapter one. For chapter two, the featured character is actually Aladdin, who you will be able to get in the uh, tower event shop as well, which is very, very useful if you don't have them already. Um, so characters from Aladdin, Sleeping Beauty, Toy Story, Tangled, Cinderella, and the Dumbo collections, along with Goofy, will also be helping with this event. Uh, if there's one thing I need to say, it's that Meriwether definitely is a big help in this event for this tower challenge, so be sure to level her up if you can. Um, next up for chapter three, the featured character will be Tigger. Um, the most wonderful thing about Tigger's is that he is the only one, but he's not the only character that's going to be helping out. We'll have characters from Winnie the Pooh, Sleeping Beauty, Toy Story, Pirates of the Caribbean, Cinderella, and Lady and the Tramp helping out as well. So again, be sure to level up these collections uh, and these characters from these collections as best as you can, and uh, you'll definitely be well on your way to getting whatever goals you're trying to achieve in the Tower Challenge. Um, I see some more love for the Winnie the Pooh. Um, I know I definitely grew up a lot with Winnie the Pooh. I had these big, massive plushies by my bed when I was a kid, and I loved them. It was both Pooh and Tigger, so seeing them in the game come alive is just so, so beautiful. Um, so we've had some questions about this earlier, and yes, it is actually true. We have a brand new newsletter signup available on the Disney Magic Kingdom's website. So if you click on the play game button on our Facebook page, which is up at the top, you'll be able to sign up for our newsletter that contains behind the scenes info, concept art from our artists for attractions and other things, live stream links and more, and they're sent out on a per update basis. So if you haven't seen the website yet, you can also head on over to disney-magic-kingdoms.com for the sign-up form and sign up for, uh, you know, update 43 and see what it holds in store as well. So we have a lot of players asking about land, and uh, we've talked about this a little bit before in the previous live stream. We don't have land for this update, but we have some very, very good news coming very soon. Uh, as confirmed in the previous live stream, stay tuned for the next live stream for update 43 for a very special surprise. Wink. <laughs> All right. I see... Steven also, um, Steven, I, I believe is what his name is, yes, gave birth to his second daughter, Ivy. Um, so congratulations on the baby as well. I'm so happy about that. Um, 
I see Faith Singh as an animation grad. I am on that newsletter. It's very exciting. I love being able to see all the behind the scenes elements and where artists were drawing inspiration for all the attractions or concessions. It's very, very cool. Um, definitely encourage you to sign up if you haven't already. Um, Francisca saying she loves the blue hair. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see what color it'll be next time. Who knows? Um, and I know that you're all being very patient about the land and we thank you very much. And we're near there. Uh, just hang on a little bit tighter, get through this tower challenge, and we'll be there before you know it. Our hat stand, the Mickey Celebration donut stand, and the Maleficent waffle cone stand, which looks absolutely delicious. And as for our next update, we'll have some brand new characters that are getting themselves into a very hairy predicament, and someone who's always happy to lend a hand. Stay tuned for more teasers on what that all means coming on our official social media channels on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube now. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and have a magical day. Hope you all stay safe. Bye guys!